I'm going to talk to you through a quick eight minute demo of the Sentinel-1 platform, demonstrating its threat detection and response capabilities. My colleague, Jose Muniz, will be doing the actual work while I talk about what is happening. In this Sentinel-1 demo, we are using our current version of the console, which is called Machu Picchu, and my colleague Jose will be logging into the Sentinel-1 console using single sign-on. Here, we can get an overall picture of what our security posture is across our ecosystem and enterprise. We can see different operating systems, the role of devices, if encryption is enabled or disabled, and the threats over time. We can, of course, drill down or add new graphs as required. Now, at the moment, we are in a global scope setup. This is perfect for MSSPs as well as larger enterprises. And we're going to go to Jose's site. All of these are, of course, virtual systems. Taking a look in here, you can see that we have a few computer systems. These are all part of Jose's lab. His resources are listed here and we'll take a look at the policy in place and see that that policy at the moment is in detect mode only. We would normally expect our customers to have a protection mode policy in place with the autopilot enabling the ability to remediate or even roll back automatically in the case of a ransomware attack. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to leave the policy in detect mode only for threats, meaning that Sentinel-1 will not respond automatically in real time. We have to do that manually. Jose saves our policy. Now let's look at the incidents that we have at the moment and as you can see there are no threats detected and we have a clean dashboard meaning that all of our computers are secure. Now let's move briefly to the victim's machine. We can take a look at some of the documents they have and some other items. You can see these prior to the attack and confirm that everything is normal. Let's now go ahead and execute this ransomware and see what happens. Then we're going to move back to the Sentinel-1 console, see what the console observes, and after that we will go ahead and trigger a manual response. Remember that normally the response would be in real time and totally automated, but this is for demo purposes. Immediately we can see that the data has been encrypted. The background on the victim's machine has been changed and we can't view any of the documents at all. They are also asking for a ransom payment with only 95 hours to pay. Let's go back and see what the Sentinel-1 console now shows us. It quickly refreshes and shows we have a new threat detected comprising of two elements into a single event. It is classified as malicious, it is identified as being present on these computers. Let's take a look at some of the details in order to see the storyline of what has been happening. We can see some injection activities, we can also see some evasion techniques, and we can see two methods of persistence, one in the registry and one in the scheduler, that have been installed into the computer. We can also see that it behaves like a ransomware based on its file operations and it even attempted to delete backup shadow copies of files and we can see that it also has other behaviours similar to a ransomware. Let's find out more about this specific threat. To do this we can go to Recorded Future, Deep Visibility or Virus Total. In this case we are going to go to Virus Total to see if this malware is known or not. As it turns out, it is an unknown piece of malware, meaning they don't have any signatures that can be used to protect against this threat. We can then go and explore and see what has been happening, what has been executed and what happened next. We can see other events here and see that it has launched a command line. We can see another binary over there and we can see some interesting commands. For instance, looking at vssadmin.exe and see the exact command syntax that was used. 
So it attempted to cancel and delete all my shadow copies as well. Let's go ahead and respond to this threat. Moving back to the victim's machine, we can see the computer system is still encrypted and compromised. Let's put everything back to how it should be. We're going to go to actions and we're going to mitigate this threat and the right response for this situation will be rollback. The responses here are sequential, meaning that if I click remediate, we will kill, quarantine and remediate all together. Or if I click rollback, we would kill, quarantine, remediate and rollback all together to address the threat. Jose marks this threat as resolved as soon as he is done with it. Marking it as a true positive and it is also good practice of course to add some comments so other analysts know what has been done in this instance. Clicking apply and we can see it's operating properly and is already responding in real time. This would normally have been totally automated through our policy. Let's go and see what is happening on the victim's computer. Sentinel-1 has already killed the ransomware processes. The files are back, the documents are back and the computer is back to normal as if nothing happened at all to the computer system. In Sentinel-1 we can also get a verification of what we have done. Here we can see that Sentinel-1 killed nine processes, quarantined two out of three of them because of course two of them were binaries and the other one wasn't quarantinable. It remediated 157 out of 157 processes and we rolled back 728 objects or files out of the 728 objects that were originally encrypted. In reality and with automation and protect mode enabled it would have been as if nothing had happened at all. Thank you for watching our demonstration and please don't hesitate to contact us for more details.